Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Pisces, this is all about how your person is currently feeling about you, about the situation, about the connection or potential connection and what their next moves are going to be. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. And if you enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You can, of course, check out your other placements or check um, the sign of your person as well, if you know what that is. Pisces, let's see what's going on with your person of interest. How are they feeling about you? Deeper feelings. How they're coming across to you. How they're seeing you. What their next moves are going to be. Okay, now I'll just show you what's at the bottom of the deck as well. We have Temperance. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, Pisces. There is a little bit of a um, disconnect here between how this person feels and how they're wanting to come across. And they're coming across as a little bit more um, serious and I suppose uh, hardworking than what is actually the case. Not that this person is not hardworking, but they're trying to um, maintain, I guess, like a cool aloofness um, when they're around you or they're trying to, um, you know, they're very focused on other things like their work or other projects that they've got going on. And they're not wanting to seem or to come across like they're overly keen or overly enthusiastic. Um, but that is quite different to what I'm seeing. So it's very, very interesting. So we do have um, Pentacles energy here. We've also got Fire energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, potentially a Fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, but doesn't necessarily have to be. This person, um, like I said, is coming across as uh, a little bit aloof, a little bit like they're very focused on other things. They could actually be just very, very busy or have a job that takes up a lot of time or they're very, very focused on it. Um, they're also really concentrating on building something, working on something, whether that be building their own skills, working on something um in order to improve themselves or just really super focused on a project or something that they've got going on. They could also be studying something at the same time, uh, chipping away at something, getting in, you know, putting in the hours in order to get better at something. So very, very, very hardworking person, um, someone who is very focused on money as well, probably good at building wealth, at investing. Um, so they could have something, um, they could be like working in a field related to money as well, or where they have to manage a lot of money um, because that's just something that they're, that they're good at doing naturally. Right. Um, but it does mean that it takes them away or it takes the focus away from you, from relationships in general. They have a tendency to get um, very, very engrossed in what they are working on at that moment in time, very focused. And then they kind of lose track of everything else. Um, but that's interesting because what they're really feeling deep down, if we look right at what is at the heart of this reading, we have the Knight of Wands. And this is an extremely passionate energy. This is someone who feels a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, and they're really see how in this um, in this card here, they're just kind of facing away. This card here is really facing the opposite direction and is facing you. And they're really wanting to make their way towards you. So this person, despite all appearances, despite the fact that they're so focused on other things, actually what they really want to do is come towards you, is spend more time with you, is get to know you better, is just also... Um, 
is get to know you better in an intimate way as well, I suppose. The Knight of Wands is very, um, has a lot of like passion and physical attraction, feels a lot of attraction towards you. So this person is really raring to go. They're excited. They want to take this risk, take a leap of faith and come towards you. Very interesting. They're going to do it in a way that is a lot more subtle than that. Okay. They are not going to reveal this passion anytime soon. They are very good at keeping um, a control over those impulses and not letting them uh, affect their behavior, their outward behavior. So they're very, very good at um, keeping a control of how they appear to you, um, of what they show you, what they show others, what they show the world. But deep down, this person is very driven, very passionate, and is not afraid to take a chance and take a risk. You're coming across as the Six of Swords, Pisces. Six of Swords. So um, it's possible that you have recently moved somewhere. It's possible that you have met this person through a move. Um, you could also be coming through something in the past that was quite upsetting, was quite difficult, was quite stressful in terms of just the overall situation. And you're kind of moving on from that now and you're ready. You're ready for something that suits you better. You're ready to have a relationship with someone who, um, again, doesn't cause as much drama, doesn't cause as much stress in your life. Someone who doesn't have a, a really huge ego, for example, someone who you're not going to have, you know, petty disagreements and arguments with. You really just want a kind of calm situation. And I feel as though that turbulent time has passed for you and you're a lot more aware of what you want in a relationship. You're coming across as a little bit more mature and wise um, given your past experiences. So that's that's really nice to see. You could really enjoy spending time near water or on the water as well. That helps you feel very calm. But this person is really getting the sense that that you just you you're wise, you have a lot of wisdom given your past experiences and you know what you want and you have a mature outlook to dealing with disagreements or dealing with people who have different opinions to you you're quite good at that you're you're a good sort of um peacemaker that's how you're coming across to 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 this person this person's dreaming about dreaming about their future dreaming about um having that relationship with someone that just really leaves them feeling very content they're not there yet but that's what they want and when they think about this connection or the potential that it has for the future it's leaving them feeling very very happy they can see this they can see this happy scene this happy emotional scene in their future they see it with this connection they see the potential there and this is ultimately what they want, despite the fact that this person is very practical, is very focused on work, money, um, you know, is very sort of taken up by their day to day life and what they're working on, what they're doing. Despite that, they are actually really driven by having an emotionally fulfilled relationship and family life that's ultimately what they want i mean we all obviously want happiness and that means different things but this person wants happiness in a personal relationship in a romantic relationship that's very very important for them and they have not achieved that yet they haven't found the person that can help them achieve this but they're very excited about um the opportunity for the future with you. A 
another reason why they may not be outwardly uh, showing their interest or just how interested they really are is that they don't want to get too obsessed by this. They don't want to, they don't want to come across too strong too soon. Um, they don't want to A, scare you off, but B, they also perhaps have a tendency to really lose themselves in a relationship and they don't want that to happen. They're really craving a lot more balance in their life. And so they're trying to achieve that by not getting too emotionally wrapped up too quickly, too soon, too intensely. So it's almost like they're, they're fighting that inner urge, that inner passion a little bit. Next moves, they are really manifesting this, okay? They want to get this started. Magician energy, that's more Virgo energy, possibly Gemini. Um, they're really wanting to manifest this connection. They really want to get things going. This person is a lot more driven, again, than what they, what they show. This person's very good at thinking long-term, thinking ahead, and doing the things now that are going to get them to the place they want to be. So what that means is um, they're already working on it. <laughs> Basically, they're already working on their approach, um, how they're going to come towards you, how they want to be successful in their approach to you and this relationship and how to make it work for them. They're already planning all of that. There is a lot going on behind the scenes, basically, with this with this person. Um, but they will, I think you'll start to see signs of it soon. They won't reveal their entire plans or what they've been thinking, but you will get something soon. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.